Hey, so this week on Susie and Friends, we're doing something a little bit different. We have hopped off the big red couch. We're now on the floor, and I'm joined by Jack. G'day, Jack. Hi. How are you? Good. Good, good, good. Jack, what are we doing on the floor? Are we going to roll around, do cartwheels, backflips? Knuckle bones. Knuckle bones. Oh, that sounds far more civilised. I like that. <laughs> okay, so how long have you been playing knuckle bones? Three weeks. Yeah. Who taught you? Mum. Your mum, yeah. Did she play it when she was a child? Yeah. Okay, so who's the best knuckle bone player in your house, though? Is it you? Is it mum? Dad. Your dad? Why is that, do you think? Because he can basically go halfway through in one turn. Oh, really? And having big hands? Yeah, yeah. That makes a big difference, and we'll show you why. Have you ever played knuckle bones before? Well, they're really easy if you've been practicing lots. <laughs> have you been practicing lots? Kind of. Oh, good. Because I haven't played in a while. You'll have to remind me of all the different moves. What do you start with? Um, you just basically flip them over onto your back of your hand yep. and back again, and you have to pick them up one by one. Oh, nice. And you have to stay in the same spot. So your bottom can't move? Your Pretty knees much. have to stay in the same oh, oh, your knees, okay, right. And then after, if you complete that, it's still your turn, and you have to go and you have to do two of them. So, pick up two. Oh, well done. Oh, you're and good. Then, and then you have to go to threes and fours. Mm hmm. Should we show a three? Okay. If I can do it. <laughs> oh, oh. two of them. Two of them? Okay, so when you get out like that, Seven. your opponent gets to have a go. Warm up those hands. Here we go. I'm going to try and catch as many as I can on the back of my hand. Yay! Because that means I don't have so many to pick up. That's right, eh, Jack? Yep. Okay, so. If you can still do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Just. Okay. Oh, no! I missed it. So that's my turn over. Yep. Okay. So you're up to threesies now? Yep. Ah, ah. See, so even the uh, the catching, it's actually not a bad idea just to keep practicing, eh? So you just practice yep. like that. And just keep practicing until you can catch as many on the back of your hand as possible. Like that, almost. Okay, so what am I up to? Twosies. Two Z's. Great. Now three Z's? Yep. Not bad for someone who hasn't done it for a while. Oh, especially when you do that! Then you don't have to catch three, you only have to catch one. Phew! And now you have to do fours. Fours, okay, so here we go, foursies. Ah, which means I only have to do twosies. And you put them together, ah, and you scoop them up like and that. And now scatter ones, you have to scatter them and then do, and then you pick one, and then you have to throw it up and pick one at a time. Okay, so scatters is like that. And then right? you have to pick one up, yep. and then you throw it up. And catch that one? Yep. Okay. So That's it's quite easy, except... When you go to scatter twos. Mm-hmm. And you have to pick up two now. Okay, so you want the ones that are closest together. So probably take that one, yeah. Yeah, and you only want to pick up those two, two there. And you can't move them. Oh, you can't move them? Yeah. So I can't push them closer? No, on scatters. <sighs> are you sure? Is it in the yeah. rules? Okay, here we go. What? Nope. <laughs> and try not to take your nose out while you're doing or it. Or your fear. forehead. <laughs> yeah. Have you done that before? Yeah. Yeah. These bones are quite hard, so you don't actually want to throw them too high. Ah! Okay, so one level can actually take you quite some time, can't it? Yeah. yeah I might I've... have that other one too, because otherwise I'd be cheesing. <laughs> I've been stuck on scatter ones for about five turns. Oh, really? I'm, I mean, th ones, like yeah. picking them up. Sure. So, yeah, practice lots. And that's a good game because you can just play it by yourself, can't you? Go through all the levels. Yep. Hey, there are so many different levels. Should we have a look at some of them now? So, this is dumps. You dump them, pick one up without moving the rest, and then scoop them up. So, this is how hand scatters. Well, first of all, you jockey knuckle bones, and any you catch, you put aside. Then you scatter what's left and pick them up one at a time. Well, scatter twos, you do the same. Scatter, and then pick them up two at a time. Same with scatter threes. And the idea is to collect as many as you can when you first jockey, because if you miss any, guess what? 
you lose your turn and you have to start all over again when it's your turn next time. <sighs> this is clicks. Here your jockey is normal, but when you pick them up, you've got to make them click. The next one is no clicks. With this one, your jockey, and then as you pick them up, you can't let them click at all. Little jingles. Your jockey as usual, and then as you pick each knuckle bone up, you've got to keep it in your hand until you've got all five. Big jingles is after that. Okay, with big jingles, your jockey is normal, and then as you pick each knuckle bone up, you've got to throw whatever you've caught in the air and catch them all. This one takes a lot of practice. But you can do it if you try. Good luck. This is called over the line. This time you're jockey, but with your other hand flat on the ground. Any knuckle bones that you catch go into a pile, and you put every knuckle bone after that on top of that pile, because at the end you scoop them all up. Now those are just a few of the levels that you do with knuckle bones, and they progressively get harder and harder, don't they? Yes, they do. Yep, okay. So start out nice and gently, and you don't have to have knuckle bones, do you? No. You got those from a dollar shop, didn't you? Yes. Yep, so, but you can just go out into the garden, get little pebbles, little stones, yep. snail shells, oh, maybe not snail shells. <laughs> Snails. <laughs> yeah, snails, beach shells, something like that. And um, just practice lots and you'll get better and better and better and try and catch as many on the back of your hand as possible. How many can you give? Two. What's, two? My highest score is three, but, three. I, can't, but okay. I can't put it back over. Yeah. Like, the more you do, the easier it gets, I promise. Excellent. Hey, Jack, thank you so much for coming in. I'll um, challenge you in a couple more months' time when you've had a bit more practice. Yeah. And we'll see how we get on, eh? Yeah. Brilliant. Awesome. Thank you. Remember, if you're enjoying these clips, like, subscribe, maybe even share. And we'll have a new guest next week. For more information, head to suzy.co.nz. See ya.